Hello, in this video we will cover web servers. Before we go into web servers, we will understand what is a server and a client. A server is any computer that receives requests from the client computers, processes and sends back the output. A web server responds to web related request. There can be other type of servers, example application servers, mail servers, FTP server etc. Client is any computer on the network that requests service from another computer on the network. So why do we need servers? Servers typically handle the high-end processing work such as hosting databases or centralized file keeping for data sharing. They are used for equipment or resource sharing such as printers and copiers. The servers also run virus scanners constantly to detect and remove viruses introduced by any user on any computer. They also back up all users work frequently to recover in case of emergency. To do all this work, servers are very different from desktop computers that we use. They require large amount of RAM to work efficiently. They also need very large and fast hard disks. Servers like application servers have more processing power with multiple strong CPUs. Most servers also have inbuilt high capacity backup drives to protect against data loss. Servers are also designed to be expandable as network grows with demand. Coming back to web servers, web servers are servers that store web documents and responds to the request made by web browsers. Popular web servers are like Apache, IIS, etc. The primary purpose of web server is to deliver web pages on the request of clients using the hypertext transfer protocol. Web servers run special programs called CGI programs which help them accept requests and fetch the required output as per the request made by the client. The web server also ensures that only authenticated access takes place, thus they keep running many monitoring programs and keep logging all the activities. 